The NFL on CBS. Today's game is sponsored by Easy Tasting Budweiser, the king of beers. When you say Budweiser, you've said it all. AC Delco, quality automotive parts for quality motoring. AC Delco. And by Ford and your Ford dealer, who invite you to see and test drive the all-new LTD and Mustang. From Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, CBS presents the Atlanta Falcons and the Detroit Lions. Hi, everybody. I'm Vin Scully, along with George Allen and Jim Brown. The Detroit Lions are one and five after a narrow miss with Washington. And here in Atlanta, they are two and four, coming off a pummeling at the hands of Pittsburgh. George, when you come to Atlanta Stadium, what do you think of? Well, the first thing I think of, Vinny, is that this is where we dedicated the Atlanta Stadium. Uh, I was with the Rams, and we played the first game in 1966 here against the Falcons, and we won 19 to 14. No wonder you like to think about it. Uh, Jim, when you see Detroit and you see Monty Clark and some of these youngsters, what do you think of? Well, I really think of Monty Clark because he was one of my great teammates at Cleveland. He did a lot of great blocking. He was a very serious guy. And he had real small legs with big feet. So I used to laugh at him a lot, but I really loved him. You played on some championship teams with him. Yes, our uh, championship team, the game we uh, played against Baltimore, Monty was a first string tackle, running outside and blocking. What does he say about this young Detroit line? Well, he's a little, uh, little worried right now, actually, because he has a young team. He got rid of about 13 veterans. Uh, he teaches basically sound football, and uh, he's got a lot of injuries right now, so he has a lot of problems. George, talking mm. about problems, one team is one and five, the other's two and four, looking to the end of the season. Have you ever found yourself in that kind of a spot? Vinny, I've never had this situation. Uh, we were just talking about that. Out of 175 games as a uh, pro coach, uh, 174 always meant something, either the playoffs <laughs> Or the championship. Uh, I think it's going to matter. It's going to come down to how much character each ball club has. Okay, the Detroit. <laughs> Kicking off will be Tim Mazzetti, number four, formerly with Philadelphia and Buffalo, graduated from the University of Pennsylvania, born in Brazil, and they just got him a couple of days ago. And his kick will go into the end zone, and Freddie Scott will take it out. He's to the 10, to the 15. Scott is to the 18 to the 22 and he's buried as he gets across the 25 yard line. So a 28 yard run back by Freddie Scott. Betty, now that's... let's take a look at Detroit. Offensively, Baldishweiler, a rookie tackle along with Elias, Terry, Bodine and Oates. The Rabbits who will handle the football. The wide receivers are Blue and Scott. The tight end is David Hill. In the backfield for Detroit, they will shape up this way. At quarterback, Gary Danielson with the running backs Dexter Bussey and Horace King first and ten on the Detroit they'll spot it at the 26 yard line out of the eye with Bussey the deep man and Danielson will put it up on the first play and a little release screen and it is Dexter Bussey across the 35 still on his feet at the 40 yard line fumble the ball and it was recovered by Elias, Homer Elias, the fourth round draft pick, number 61, falling on the fumble of Dexter Bussey. That's a good first down call, Jim. Uh, Atlanta's a pretty good pass rushing team, so he sets him up with a screen. Good safe play. Picks up a fine game. I've always liked to open a ball game with a screen pass. And there is Elias falling on that fumble to save it for Detroit. A pickup of 14 yards, first and 10 from the Detroit 40. In motion comes Jesse Thompson, and it is Dexter Bussey, and is he belted, and it is Robert Pennywell, my favorite linebacker out of Charles Dickens, number 59, who laid that lick on him. Let's take a look at that Atlanta defense. The grits blitz, as they call it. But here are the linebackers, cooking all along with Pennywell and Brazino. Now we'll take a look at the front four. Yates, Bailey, Lewis, and Merrow. We'll pick up the corners and safeties in a moment. But they move it along now as Gary Danielson from the 40-yard line, second and 10. And Greensville, number 74, is Wilson Fomina. And Fomina broke through to Berry Dexter Bussey at the 35-yard line. So they lose five. 
The secondary for Atlanta. At the corners, Roland Lawrence and Rick Bias. Frank Reed, the strong safety. Tom Pridemore, the free safety. So it is second and nine on the 41-yard line. And make it now third and 14 if they lost five. Danielson to the first man through, but again, that Atlanta forward wall refuses to give, and they're really bearing down. They're, they're going to have a tough time running against that Falcon defense, and that last down, the Falcons fake the blitz. They fake the dog a lot to try to dictate to the quarterback, force them to call audibles. Monty Clark talking upstairs as he finds out immediately that that young offensive line for Detroit will have its problems. And now, on a fourth and 13 from the 37, Tom Spladani will be kicking from his own 25. Billy Rickman is all alone on the Atlanta 20-yard line. Spladani, the great kicker from Ohio State. And he hits an arrow deep, in fact, going back for it and letting it bounce. He never touched the ball, and it rolled in. So Billy Rickman wisely allowing the ball to bounce inside the 10, a 63-yard punt. And that's why Woody Hayes called him beer can, non-returnable. Then he, uh, we tried, uh, we made a trade for him. When do you say Budweiser? After doing this about 3,000 times a day, after a hard tooth match with my friend Ron. As soon as I knock this ball out of the park. When do you say Budweiser? It's everywhere. When my mother-in-law leaves town. <laughs> after a long night in here. Or when you say Budweiser. Let me hear you say it, people. Budweiser. You have said it all. Introducing a whole new breed of Mustang. The all-new 79 Mustang from Ford. With a new aerodynamic design, precise handling, and Mustang performance from options of V6, V8, even a turbocharged engine. Mustang for 79, the new breed in two-door and three-door models. Capture one at your Ford dealer now. Atlanta on a beautiful day. The first touch of fall has come to the south. No score in the early going. How about this one? On a kickoff, Steve Odom went 95 yards for Green Bay. They have stung Seattle 7 0 in the first minute. And now Atlanta will put the ball in play. First and 10 from the 20 yard line. Bartkowski with Bean and Stanback. And Stanback gets away from Sanders and is dragged down at the 24 yard line. And it was Rhodes who finally got him. But Ken Sanders had his hands on him, and he got away from As him. As we look at this from the end zone, you will see that he was almost hit in the backfield, followed his block beautifully, cut the split, made a move to the inside, and fell forward. I always like that kind of a run. That big Kenny Sanders, a seven-year man out of Howard Payne, means a great deal up front for Detroit. Second and six from the 24. Stand back in Bean. And here goes Bean out across the 25. Flags flying on it, so let's hold up. Big Al Baker in on the tackle number 60. Detroit is reacting that it is against Atlanta. In a moment, we'll get a call. We should say, by the way, that the referee is Ben Dreif, the umpire Bob Boylston, the head linesman Frank Glover, the line judge Bob McElwee, the back judge Stan Javey, the side judge Ed Weird, and the field judge Pat Millett. And in a moment, Ben Dreif will give us the call. So they spot it to the 14. The holding call against Mike Ken, who was one of the two rookie tackles starting in the NFC. And the other one, oddly enough, is starting for Detroit today. Their rookie, Carl Baldeschweiler. So it is second and 16 from the 14-yard line. Rickman is wide left. The backs are split, and on a draw, it's being dragged down and hit nicely by big number 72, and that's Bill Cook, the four-year man out of Massachusetts. Bean, carrying that time, has thrown only one pass in his career. Two years ago, it was a touchdown. So there's no chance that Bubba will do much throwing today. 
had a bad knee last year. Bubba Bean along with Haskell Stanback. A couple of things about Atlanta. Only twice have they scored in the first quarter in their last 34 games. They've scored 10 points or less in their last 19 games. They're last in offense in the NFC. And one of the big reasons, they have had 18 sacks and 15 fumbles. Fella, they've been hurting. They have, but they, they claim now their offense is starting to gel. But right now, it looks a little conservative to me. Well, we've just lost our right. Haskell Standback at least for the moment. So we'll see how Bartkowski goes third and 15. He's passed very well on third down plays. Bean is going to handle it on the nine. He's out to the 15, to the 20, and hit forward to the 25, and there's a flag on the play as he goes down at the 27. Well, this is a, a flood pattern where both backs go to one side, and he dumps it off to the second back, who's a good open field runner, 44 Bean. That's a good safe type of play. It's good against the dog, and he almost picked up the first down. Looks like there's a holding penalty on this. You know, if I remember correctly, in last week Los Angeles game, there were 29 penalties, and there were an awful lot of people who felt that this group of officials called more penalties than anybody else, the Ben Wright group, and here we go already. Offensive holding number 81 well, declined a penalty as fourth down. So the penalty would be against Dennis Pearson, a wide receiver. Uh, we're going to get a lot of calls, Benny, with the new rules on holding. Anytime you can open your hands, you're going to. John James, who is having his poorest kicking year and still is averaging 40 yards a punt. That's in seven years. John will be kicking from his 15 under a heavy rush, and he got it away. Down the left side, it'll go out of bounds as Freddie Scott watched it go out, and they'll spot the ball around the 35 yard line. So in the early goings here in Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, a battle between the Detroit Lions and the Atlanta Falcons, and early in the first quarter, no score. Wherever you may roam, you'll find our name is known. You can trust at Delco. Thanks, Delco. Delco Freedom Battery. When things are getting thick, want to start real quick. You can trust the Delco. Thanks, Delco. Delco Freedom Battery. They've got the stuff. When the start is tough, you can trust the Delco. Thanks, Delco. Delco Freedom Battery. Delco Freedom Battery. Thanks, Delco. I took a first look at my life. Then got a first look for my home. I got a first look. And all it took was Kmart's Fresh Look Latex Paint. Fresh Look has a hue that's you, pretty colors, bed and ties. Kmart's Fresh Look interior latex, a premium paint at a Kmart price. Do you trust me? Sunday, what hold does Kaz's client have on Bennett? You invited him to throw the buck at her. We were standing there ready to string her up. Cavs, Sunday at 10, 9 Central and Mountain. Undefeated Pittsburgh leading Cleveland 3-0. A 23-yard field goal by Roy Girello with 7.27 to go in the first. First and 10 for Detroit. No score. They put the ball in play on their own 35-yard line. And inside handoff to King. And he's still on his feet as he gets across the 45-yard line. Horace King, who set a lion record a couple of years ago with 32 rushes. He's a workhorse. This is what we call a misdirection play. King, a uh, pretty good runner. He doesn't have a lot of speed. He made a good inside move there. He's cutting back behind his block, which is fine. Keeps his legs moving, as you can see, and falls forward. Last week, he had his best game ever and they hope that he's going to keep improving. First and 10 on the line, 47. Scott is left, and Jesse Thompson right. A handoff to Dexter Bussey, and he gets into Atlanta territory before the Falcons finally pull him down. Oh, we told you that Steve Odom took the opening kickoff and ran 95 yards to give Green Bay a quick 7 to nothing lead, and as soon as they got their hands on the ball a second time, David Whitehurst passed 25 yards to James Lofton for a touchdown, and in two minutes, Green Bay is leading Seattle 14 to nothing in the first. 
Second and three. Pitch back to King, trying to get a block from Dexter Bussey, but it didn't work. Bussey was trying to fight Lawrence, and Roland Lawrence not only took the block, but was able to make the tackle. This telecast presented by authority of the National Football League intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Atlanta Falcons and the National Football League is prohibited. First and ten, the ball on the 42-yard line of Atlanta. Gary Danielson at the wheel. And flipping over to the left side and overshooting his man, Luther Blue, threw it over his head, and that's pretty high. Blue is not a big man. He's only 5'11". Gary Danielson, three-year man out of Purdue, and now coming in once again is Jesse Thompson out of California. They dogged him on that play, Vinny, and rushed him. Came in with a six-man rush. A little hand in the face made him throw it high, right, George? Made him throw it up and over. Danielson has been intercepted twice and sacked four times, and you see his numbers this year. Second and ten from the 42. It's still blue and bussy. Scott is right and Jesse Thompson left. Danielson getting good protection goes down and gets his man, and it's Scott, and he's hit immediately at the 27-yard line, and down he goes. On this particular play, Atlanta's in a 34 defense. They have three rushmen, only three men rushing a passer, five men blocking. So Danielson has the time to throw, and he throws a good, accurate stop pattern, which is also difficult to defense. Picks up the first down. Dewey McLean was shaken up. He made the hit. First and 10 on the Atlanta 27-yard line. Bussey is now on a wing. King all alone behind Danielson, and here comes King, stacked up just about at the line of scrimmage. Fulton Kuykendall, number 54, down at the bottom of that. Horace King, he's had some tough physical problems. Two years ago, he missed seven games, torn stomach muscles, but as we told you, he was also, last year, the number one rusher and the number one pass receiver for Detroit. He caught well, 40. That can be a little misleading, Benny. Mm -hmm. They think he's a little small. You know, they really need a big back. He's only 5'10", 205. Go to second and 10 from the 27. Out of the eye, and here goes King again, and there goes King, buried by Falcon. The first man to hit him was Jeff Yates, and Yates is filling in for Claude Humphrey. 59 Pennywell is supposed to be a good one. Let's watch him. Fights off the block, stacks it up, waits for help, does a good job. Right, Coach? They set that up by faking a dog, Jim. They faked the blitz and came out of it. I wouldn't be surprised if Danielson didn't call an audible against that. Well, they dog so much, Coach. I can understand them faking one. Third and eight from the Atlanta 26. Big play now for Gary Danielson to keep the drive alive. <laughs> going deep down the left side in the end zone. Oh! It was Scott, and Freddie Scott appeared to have Rick Bias beaten, and it's incomplete. Let's take another look at that one. They came in with a blitz, a safety blitz. He read it, set Scott deep on a goal pattern. The ball was a little bit underthrown. He should have had it. Well, it should have had a problem with the sun, Coach. I mean, it was really an easy catch. Should have had it, right, Jim? So Benny Ricardo, who was born in Asuncion, Paraguay, has a ladies' boutique shop in California, and he will be trying from a hold on the 33-yard line and it's blocked. He kicked the line drive, Benny. He kicks the line drive here. Watch that. Jeff Merrow, number 75. No trajectory at all on the ball. Well, actually, Coach, it was a bad snap. So, frustrated Detroit in the early going. No score with Atlanta. I joined the telephone company as an operator in 1910. We wore heavy headsets at that time. 
the switchboard was quite a handful to operate. Some offices were very big, and a few supervisors actually wore roller skates on the job. In the early 40s, when I was an operator, the Bell system served around 15 million telephones. Many technical improvements had been made, but party lines were still the order of the day, and operators still made a lot of the connections. Today we have a modern electronic console, and calls go through much faster. Operators are free to handle calls where we're really needed. And with everything at our fingertips, we can do in seconds what used to take minutes. Always improving. That's the Bell system for you. The Bell system. People using technology to help keep down costs and improve service. Keeping your phone system the best in the world. Undefeated Washington dodged a bullet last week with Detroit, and they're down early. Philadelphia 7-0, an interception and a 15-yard touchdown return by John Sanders. First and 10, the line of scrimmage was the 30. That's where the field goal attempt went awry. And there was movement on the right side. I think it was Warren Bryant, number 66, a rookie lineman his second year, a number one draft choice last year, and he has a tendency to be over-anxious. And you'll see 66, I believe, move after they make the call officially. Paul start offense, number 66. Yeah. This is an example of why it's so difficult to have new men playing the offensive line. Both teams have a lot of new men up there, and they're going to make a lot of mistakes. First and 15 from the Atlanta 25. No score in the ball game. Steve Bartkowski, play action fake to stand back, and he's grabbed and dumped. And the man who grabbed him is Al Baker, number 60, a rookie out of Colorado State. He grabbed him with a hand, and boy, do they talk about him. He's got a good outside pass rush, Benny. He's a good outside pass rusher. Watch him right here. Beat the tackle to the outside and keep coming. Now, Coach, watch the quarterback. I feel that if he steps up just a little bit, the outside rush yes. goes around. Of, of course, there was a rush coming up the middle also, so it's a breakdown and, and blocking. So Atlanta had it first and 10 on their own 30. They now have second and 21 on their own 19, and Bartkowski has to come up with a big play. Steve looking to the right side, but releases over the middle to Haskell Standback. Standback is to the 30 and gets forward for about the 33-yard line. And coming up to hit him is Luther Bradley off the campus of Notre Dame, a first-round draft choice this year. All right, that's a little release. We call that a release to the back. Just fakes the block, goes over the middle. The ball is thrown to him, of course. He couldn't get in position to get enough yardage, so it doesn't really make much sense. That's pretty good football if you don't have the protection. It's a quick pass, and you can get it off, and you shouldn't be sacked. So Fran Tarkenton does it very well. He's the best. Third and six from the Atlanta 33. Kasky, both backs release, and he goes down the left side, overshooting his tight end, Jim Mitchell. Flag Interesting on the thing field. about Mitchell, he has not caught a touchdown since 1975, and yet, going into this game, he needs 27 yards for 4,000, and yet he's been shut out for TDs for three years. Benny, he's a tremendous tight end. Good receiver, good blocker. Another rookie pays the price, Mike Ken, the left tackle and a rookie out of Michigan. And there's Mike Ken coming off. He's a first round draft choice, and you'll see him holding on the left side. You know, they're very high on Mike Ken, though. They think he's going to be really a great football player. What do you think about that, Coach? I think he's got the potential. He's going to have to play and get his experience to develop. John James, second punt, and he'd be funny from the 25 yard line. Freddie Scott angling over to make a reception, and he'll handle it on the 25-yard line. Still on his feet and down at the 35 is Freddie Scott. Dewey McLean, number 52, hit him. So it was a 42-yard punt and a nine-yard return. So Detroit will put it in play. First and 10 on its 34. No score. 
From South Carolina to North Dakota, they know what makes a state fair a great fair. Beer makes it good. Beer's just one schlitz. There's no debate. Nothing else comes near. Beer makes it good. When you're out of schlitz. Schlitz makes it great. You're out of beer. Eleven million times a day, America reaches for a schlitz. Every drop chill lagered for quality since 1849. Schlitz makes it like no other good. Schlitz makes it great. You've seen how we build the Firestone 721 radial. Here's how we back it up with the full two-year warranty. If a Firestone 721 becomes unserviceable in the two years after you purchase it because of a defect in workmanship or materials, we'll replace it free. Only road hazard and in-service abuse are not covered. This offer is good on every 721 sold for passenger car use between now and October 31st by any Firestone dealer or store. CBS Sports kicks off next Sunday with the NFL Today pregame show, followed by a regional slate of games. Monday morning, you'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. The Pittsburgh Steelers, one of the three undefeated teams in the NFL, leading on two field goals, a 23-yard and a 44-yard field goal by Roy Girella. First and 10. Detroit trying to get a move on its own 35-yard line. King and Bussey are the running backs behind Gary Danielson. And Danielson going deep down the middle, right through the hands of the intended receiver, Hill. David Hill. It appeared to go right through his hand. Well, the Falcons use an odd defense on first down, which is good against the run, not as good against the pass to rush. They got him open on a corner, corner pattern. He should have caught it. David Hill was a television cameraman during the offseason. I don't think he liked that picture. <laughs> well, I tell you, the sun must be awfully bright out there. That's the second one. Yeah, there is a lot of glare. Second and 10 on the 35. So Danielson lost a touchdown. Now he loses a completion. He's been throwing the ball well. Just off the hands of Hill, and he's going to claim that Hank Reed had a hand on him. But Reed just doing a good job of defensing. Gary Danielson, a three-year man out of Purdue. He started the last two games last year, and he's done well his last two. Let's check Frank Reed and see if he's roughing him up with a hand at all. It would be that right hand there. Mm -hmm. He was frisking him, I think. It, <laughs> it looked pretty good to me, though. <laughs> Third and 10 from the 35. Luther Blue is wide right. And Freddie Scott goes wide left. Boy, they're moving around, and they'd be flags with flag. King carrying to the 35, and the Falcons jumping around. Falcons were dogging. They were in a 34 defense, and his and his cadence, his cadence drew him offside. That's Kuykendall, 54, 79 is, is Yates, uh, 74 is Fomina. Uh, Falcons like to dog a lot, and if, if they guess right. Uh, they can get a big play, and the quarterback mixes his cadence and draw him offside. Defense offside, number 54. So Fulton Kuykendall, down here they call him Captain Crazy. There's nothing crazy about him. He's a tremendous linebacker. Well, they call him that because he hits so hard. He's a physical football player, and there aren't a lot of physical football players, Benny. He paid the price. He broke his arm in the fifth game last year. Third and five from the 40. <laughs> in motion is Jesse Thompson. And Dutch the bus, he dropped the ball, but then he fell on it with Robert Pennywell right on top of him. Bussy got one of those good bounces, and it came back to him. Yeah. This is what a young team does for you. The handoff was never really there. Bussy did not open his arms wide enough, and he had a little help from upstairs because that ball took a Detroit bounce. Actually, it went out of Bussey's hands and hit Pennywell and then hit the ground and bounced back up to Bussey, so he was fortunate indeed. Tom Skladaney will be kicking from his own 25. Billy Rickman all along for Atlanta, and that might have been partially blocked as it hits on the 45, takes a Detroit bounce down to about the 37-yard oh. oh. line of Atlanta, but oh. somebody got a finger in the pie. Watch the referee. Yeah. He started to reach for his flag. He reached in his pocket and put couldn't, it back. Couldn't get it out. <laughs> Double sevens, Edgar Fields. 
Two-year man out of Texas A&M is the one who partially blocked it and then ate up Skladini. And Monty Clark, a little frustrated now on drop passes, and I'm sure he felt that his ticker had been roughed up a little. So Atlanta puts it in play. First and ten on the Falcon 37-yard line. And the second man is Bean. Bubba looking for a block. He couldn't quite get it from Haskell stand back, but he did get the ball back to the 45 yard line. I'll tell you, uh, Benny, Bubba was looking a little too long that time. You just can't float back there that long because you're going to run out of room and you're not going to really get anything. Well, you know, uh, Jim and Benny today, neither team has a breakaway back that's going to go all the way. They have to kind of slug it out and take what they can get. Well, you said it a little more vividly than that before uh, the game, Coach, but I won't repeat that. Second and two from the Atlanta 45. And it's the first man, Bubba Bean, tripped up at the line of scrimmage and falls forward. And the fellow who just did get a finger and slow him down was Bill Cook. You'll see him. he just reached up to grab him, but he fell forward. And from our angle, it would appear as if he has made the first down, but they'll measure Yes. All right. In addition, both teams have to get their running games going before they can throw the football. They have to establish the run to keep the pressure off the quarterback. Now, I have an interesting bit of statistical information for you fellas, and maybe you can interpret it in a little while. Steve Bartkowski on third down passes is 63 yeah. percent on the money. That's staggering on third down when you're looking him to pass. Great. What does that tell you about the quarterback? He's in this, right under pressure. In this right. situation, he usually likes to sneak. Then he is third and less than one. No, first. They picked up the oh, first Oh, they picked down. up the first? First and ten oh, on the 48. Bartkowski down the left side to Billy Rickman, and he makes the reception, and he's down immediately at the 40. Luther Bradley falling on top of him. Now watch Bartkowski's quick release. He knows where his receiver is. He's throwing to Rickman, who has probably the best hands on the team. Very well executed play. Good play action. He faked to the fullback first, which held the linebacker. Rickman, a second-year man out of Louisiana Tech, and he's really emerging down here as a fine pass receiver. First and 10 on the Detroit 40-yard line. And Bartkowski to the second man, that's Bean, and he is hit and drilled immediately by Charlie Weaver. And if you're old enough to remember the wild bunch at SC, <laughs> it was eight years ago. Charlie Weaver. I saw Charlie Weaver last night, he looked like Superman. The guy's got a waist about 28 inches. I'll tell you one thing, it figured that Detroit would draft him because one of his big moments for SC was knocking off Michigan in the 1970 Rose Bowl. They know him in Michigan. Second and nine. On the Detroit 39 yard line. Bartkowski looking to the right side and now hanging it down the middle. Overshoots Haskell Standback. Haskell Standback has caught one pass, but they overthrew him. We got a, got a flag. Let's watch 86, Jim Mitchell now. Past the five-yard point, there are there is contact that is illegal. It was not called. Maybe that's why he hasn't scored a touchdown in so many games. They well, pick up another penalty. They just don't throw them enough. That's holding all. number 29. That's a first down. Mike Burns guilty of holding Jim Mitchell. So you saw it. That's Benny. That's what again we call incidental contact. The contact didn't bother him too much, but you can't make any contact. Mike Burns is playing because Jimmy Allen normally out there has an ankle sprain. First and 10 on the Detroit 34 yard line. Bartkowski to Haskell stand back and he gets to the 30 yard line Al Baker number 60 and they tell us that Al Baker even as a rookie number 60 is one of the leaders defensively for Detroit a rookie out of Colorado State. A couple of scores for the moment. We can post them for you. New England three nothing. A 19-yard field goal by David Posey over Cincinnati. Second and six from the 30-yard line. A slot left this time. Francis inside Rickman. They load up the left side. And we might.
might have we Go might on. have run out of time. Let's yeah. see. Apparently so the clock up on the scoreboard showed a minute and 35 seconds. So that's on the Fritz for sure. The first quarter's history. Detroit and Atlanta, no score. Hey, listen. If you're a mild-mannered soul like me, Dick Butkus, you'll really go for a Ford van, because this baby's built tough, with tough body-on-frame construction, cushioned by rubber mounts. And Ford's out-front engine design means easy move-around room inside. So Ford's the right game plan, whether you're working it or just going out to play games. Right, Coach? Right, Dick. That's my kind of coach. Ford's got all kinds of vans right now at your Ford dealers. <laughs> I see terrible things. My future? Your clothes. You'd look better in Hager slacks. Or a Hager sport coat and slacks. Even a Hager vested suit. All of today's Dacron polyester at prices that won't cost you a fortune. <laughs> now I see a romance. Uh -huh. A beautiful woman. My girlfriend. My daughter. Emelsha! Hager. Because looking good makes you feel good. <laughs> I'll have a natural. You know, the term natural is an appropriate simplification for Anheuser-Busch natural light. Sure, because it's simpler. No, because natural smooth, clean taste results from natural ingredients and slow natural aging. You know, you're very observatory. There's perfection in the art of brewing, a cultural trait dating back some 8,000 years. Obliviously, you're a man of extinction and dignity. Oh, yeah. Hey, mama. Have a natural. Just say natural. <laughs> Here's a report from CBS News. Black smoke at the Vatican this afternoon. That means no new pope has been chosen in the first day of balloting. The Cardinals will try again tomorrow. The start of the second quarter. No score. Haskell stand back. Gets across the 30-yard line. Flag. Flags on the play. Remember what we said at the opening of the game. There are a lot of people yeah. who criticize this group of officials for calling too many penalties. Now, maybe they're just following the letter of the law, but it's still a case in point. Well, there should be a balance in the league, yeah. I think. What about you, Coach? Well, some crews uh, do call penalties a little closer. They over-officiate. Other crews will let them play football. That's just the personality of the group. And considering the fact that you have two basically young ball clubs, we're going to see that flag fly a lot. holding number 86. Well, again, Sucking since down. we changed the rules, many were going to see more holding penalties than ever. That's against Jim Mitchell, a tight end. Four penalties against Atlanta. That would be for 30 yards thus far. So that puts it back to the Detroit 40-yard line. Second and 16. Francis left, Rickman right. And Bartkowski threading the needle and got his man inside the 25-yard line. It's Wallace Francis who made the reception. Six-year man at Arkansas State. All right, Robert Francis. Now, this is a great kick. He drives downfield, drives his man back, makes a good cut. He's ready. The ball is a little slow, but it's right on the money. But the main thing here is that he makes a great catch. That's what you have to do in the National Football League. And the rookie cornerback, Luther Bradley, knocking him down. Philadelphia leading Washington 7-3 in the second quarter. It's first and 10 Atlanta on the Detroit 24-yard line. Breaking away is Bean inside the 15-yard line. So Bubba Bean brought down by Bruce Rhodes and a few bad words down there. Well, here's a fullback play where the fullback reads the defense and cuts back. I like what Radkowski's doing on first down. He's mixing in his play action passing. Now he's running the football. Atlanta is in control right now, and if they can score first, it'll mean a lot in this ball game. So Atlanta on a big drive, first and ten. On the Detroit 13-yard line, Francis is right, Rickman is left, Mitchell the tight end on the right side. It's Stanback and Bean behind Bartkowski, and Stanback, you can see a block attempt by Haskell Stanback, but he missed the block, 
And that left Bubba Breen naked unto the world. Watch this now. There's where Stanback is throwing the block on Al Baker, and Baker just pushed Stanback away and ate up Bean. That number 60 is really going to be well, something for Detroit. I'll tell you something, Woo. Vinny. Even though there was a missed block, I think there were four or five missed blocks. That looked con totally confusing up in there that time. Second and 11 from the 14. Francis Wright. Bartkowski looking to the right side. Under pressure, down he goes. This time it was Al Baker again. We're going to send him right to the Hall of Fame. Detroit dogged on this. 55 came right in. They didn't pick it up. Quarterback didn't have a chance. Good call by Detroit defense. So it was a second and 11. Now it's third and 21. So Atlanta starting to go backwards again. Ball is on the 24-yard line of Detroit. Third and 21. Nickel defense for Detroit. Francis and Rickman. Francis left. Rickman right. Bartkowski's been very successful on third down. Passes over the middle, and he's got his man, Billy Rickman. Touchdown! A flag on the play. Hold the phone. Billy Rickman making a great reception, but hold it. The penalty will be against Detroit. Okay, let's bring this one right into your living room from the ground level. Markowski moves out, shows his mobility, throws a beautiful pass, but the main thing here is that Billy Rickman has those wonderful hands. The thing that made this, in my opinion, is that the receiver came back for the ball, took it away from the defense, you see that? And then ran in. And coach, they say he don't even have speed, but who needs it? They picked on but Luther Bradley, the rookie out of Notre Dame. Walt Williams tried to come over and help out, but it didn't work, as Billy Rickman brings it in for the touchdown. Mazzetti's point after is up, and good! And the Atlanta Falcons. Leading seven and nothing. Tim Mazzetti just joined the ball club, and now he has joined them officially. Seven nothing, Georgia. Ooh, American Road Car. The all new Ford LTD for 79. With more front seat room, more rear seat room, more window area, and more handling ease than last year's LTD. Plus the power of a V8 engine standard. A road car to take you across town or across the country. This land is your land. This land is my land. To test drive the all new LTD on your own roads, see your Ford dealer today. The great taste of Michelob and made a light beer. It's Michelob light. There is no doubt. This is what light beer is all about. Good taste. Good taste. Like Michelob light runs in the family. Good taste runs in the family. Yeah. With 12 minutes left to go in the second corner, Atlanta 7, Detroit nothing. Atlanta went 73 yards in 10 plays, and they held on to the ball for just shy of six minutes. And now Detroit will get it back. Tim Mazzetti will kick off, and the Rabbits are Scott and Jesse Thompson deep. And a good kickoff, almost out of the end zone, and so Scott will down it. Benny, that was a great kickoff. I timed him on his opening kickoff. When you kick him that deep, you don't have to kick him so high. His time was 4-0 in the air, but it was three yards deep in the end zone. Tim Mazzetti, 6'1", 175-pounder, a 22-year-old and a rookie out of the University of Pennsylvania. Had his feet wet briefly with Buffalo and Philadelphia. He kicked a field goal in a preseason game against Atlanta for Philadelphia, and the Falcons remembered. When Fred Steinford had all the trouble, they picked up Mazzetti. First and 10 for Detroit on the Lion 20-yard line. Danielson to King, and King squirts forward. He would have been hit at the line of scrimmage, 
but he's just low enough at 5'10 to get through. So he picked up a couple with Greg Brazina on his back. CBS Sports Spectacular. Boy, it's going to be spectacular. You'll have the world's freestyle skateboard exhibition. You have the USAC's Brands Hatch Auto Race and the Turf Classic, plus the world's strongest men competition. All coming up next Saturday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 3.30 Central and Pacific. The CBS Sports Spectacular. Second and six in the 24. Pitch back to Dexter Bussey, and he is upended immediately. And Jeff Yates, who replaced Claude Humphrey, making yes. the hit. All right, I often wondered why Claude Humphrey left the team. What's but the they word are on? Very it? happy that Yates is there because he's doing a great job. What is the word on Humphrey? What's going on? The with word him? is that he's unhappy here, that he wants to play with a better team, and he's trying to force a trade or something like that. Huh. I don't know that is true, but this is what rumor has it. First and ten, now third and six. So Detroit stymied a bit. Thirty-four defense for Atlanta. Gary Danielson dropping back to set up. There's a flag on the play. Atlanta's offside, Benny. So on a third and six, we'll see if we can pick off an Atlanta infraction. It'll be on the far left side or the top of your picture. Yeah, yeah. That's Dewey McLean. That's Dewey McLean, yeah, left side linebacker caught with his finger in the jaw. No, it's in the backfield. Oh, no, oh. no excuse for that. That's uh, you never commit a foul. When they're giving you the ball, he's a three-year man at Offside East Central. Defense number 52. Uh, Third down. Dewey, you are naked unto the world. I'll tell you something. That defense is so active until they're going to do that a lot. I mean, they are so active, coach. Don't you think so? Yeah, but you still don't have to do that, Jim. Uh, that that doesn't help many. He's he's being too uh, too smart on something like that. Third and one on the 29-yard line. Out of the eye. And it'll be Dexter Bussey, and Greg Brazina drops him for a loss. Wow. Brazina had six brothers attend the University of Houston, yes. and oh, what a linebacker. Well, this is the way I like my linebackers to play defense, to get across, to penetrate. Third and one doesn't mean a thing when you penetrate and get across and force the back to, to cut back. The Atlanta defense has taken over this ball game, and right now the Atlanta defense can win the ball game. Tom Skladani will be punting from his own 15-yard line. Billy Rickman is all alone on the Atlanta 30-yard line, and Skladani gets it away. Wobbly, however, going over to the right side of the field and takes a Detroit bounce and goes out of bounds at the 32-yard line. We'll watch Skladani. As he goes under a charge, but nobody near him this time. And it's seven to nothing, Atlanta. This is Uniflow Motor Oil from Exxon. It could save you money because it could save you gas. About $2 worth for every quart it takes to make the change. But now, it could save you even more. Because your participating Exxon dealer is having a mileage sale. Just clip the coupon from Exxon Mileage Sale ads and get 50 cents off each quart. Uniflow and a mileage sale. They could save you money and gas. Money and gas. Money and gas. Money and gas. Nobody does it better than Hertz. Nobody does it better. Hertz leads the others by far. Nobody does it best for you. Hertz, the super. Nobody has more of what it takes to rent you a Fairmont, Mustang, LTD, or other fine car faster. Hurts the superstar. You know it. Next Saturday, CBS Sports Spectacular features USAC Racing from Brands Hatch, England, the world's strongest men competition, and more. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. Lehman Bennett is still the youngest head coach in the NFL at 40 years old, but right back of him, Monty Clark for Detroit is only 41. So young players and young coaches. First and 10 on the Atlanta 37-yard line. And a little screen to the left side. But unfortunately for Atlanta, Detroit Red Rickman and big Bill Cook broke it up and knocked him down. Let's check a couple of scores first of all. Seattle perhaps still thinking about that upset last week we saw against Minnesota. And Green Bay burying them 28 to nothing. 
with a minute and 37 left in the first quarter. Meanwhile, Tampa Bay and New York. And Tampa Bay on a three yard run by John Davis, leading the Giants seven to three. Second and five on the Atlanta 38 yard line. Here comes Bubba Bean and Al Baker. I'll tell you what. Let's take another look at that number 60. Jimmy, you were talking, and they were talking about him oh, last yes. night. Oh, yes, Money Clark loves him. He says he's never seen a rookie like Al Baker, who comes into the league, starts right off playing first string. He is physical. Also, he is a mental football player, and he's a great leader off the field. He's 6'6", six, six, 260 pounder, and a very good basketball player, so he's very agile. He has something that nobody can coach. He has natural quickness. He's a second round draft choice and he's sure paying off and an attitude with it <laughs> oh that's tremendous third and five from the atlanta 38 bartkowski very successful on third down this year he's done it and bean dropped it he had him and he dropped it o'neill the middle linebacker was trying to pick him up and there's a flag on the play uh, well this this is uh, a pretty good call the quarterback uh, is hit as he releases the ball. The ball was thrown just a little bit behind the receiver. The receiver should have had it. That was Al Baker again, by the way, as we are welcoming everybody to the Al Baker Hour. Yes, he had a little karate chop that Woo. time. <laughs> but John James will be kicking to Freddie Scott, and up front is Jesse Thompson, should the punt be short. That's what we call a delivery sack. He delivers the ball, and he's sacked after he delivers it. And then he's a little slower in the fourth quarter. John James punting for Atlanta. The Falcons leading seven to nothing. 8.32 left in the second quarter. Detroit not coming, so James has his time and really hangs one to the 25-yard line and shot is hit immediately. And down there to hammer him, number 25. As Atlanta begins to move its people around, that's Ray Strong, who didn't figure to play. He's got a sprained ankle, but he didn't have anything wrong in getting down under that one. It is 7 0 Atlanta. Clean, clean, clean. No, I tell you, I don't get no respect. What's going on down there? Well, it's me, Mobile. You know, detergent gasoline. Oh, yeah, Mobile again. Now what? No, I mean, I'm lonely. Oh. Well, you're up there in dreamland, and I'm down here in my detergents, ready to keep your carburetor clean so your car will run better. Is it trouble, honey? No, it's just the gas talking again. <laughs> Mobile, your detergent gasoline. It was a long, hard run, but I finally won. Now it's all behind. Got blue ribbon on my mind. I've got perhaps blue ribbon on my mind. More and more lately, I find... The premium taste of Pabst. It's a lot to look forward to. I've got perhaps blue ribbon on my mind. 41-year-old Monty Clark, six years offensive coach under Don Shula at Miami, and during those years, two Super Bowl titles and three AFC championships, he's accustomed to winning. First and ten on the Detroit 25-yard line. Danielson giving to Dexter Bussey, and down he goes. Number 79, Jeff Yates, is the man who hit him first, and again, he's the heir apparent to Claude Humphrey's job. The, uh, last punt by James was in the air for 4.45 and that's one of the reasons they had such great coverage Benny that's strong despite a sprained ankle we didn't expect to see him play but boy he got down there under that four five is the equivalent to I mean that's about as good as you can hang it that's it? excellent that's Ray Ray guy area second and 13 from the Detroit 22 yard line <laughs> Danielson looking and releasing to Jesse Thompson and Thompson upended on a rolling block by Roland Lawrence, and no pun intended. It was not enough for the first down. He needs about two yards. Well, here's a dog. The Falcons' dog in this situation. Watch 79 come in. And he's a little too high in his pass rush. 
thought he was a little high, Coach, but I think he got a little left jab under the chin. His head went back a little bit there. He uh, he plays the run a little bit better than, the, than he does the pass. That's where they're going to miss Claude Humphrey on the pass rush. Third and a long one from the Detroit 34-yard line. 7-0 Atlanta. Play action fake. And Danielson is going for broke. No good. Down the field was Leonard Thompson, who used to be a running back, but is now a wide receiver. Roland Lawrence right there defending. This is a good call. Good play action fake to the fullback. He has time to throw. Lays it out there pretty good. Both went up for the ball. It could go to either one. By the way, Detroit now is 0 for 4. All right, let's watch Yates. He is the man that took the place of all pro Claude Humphrey. A lot of people say he's doing a fantastic job, but in my mind, I'm wondering what Claude Humphrey is doing right now. Well, uh, I'd like to have Claude Humphrey. Skladaney got it away, and again, it was partially blocked, I believe, and Billy Reichman will back off as if it's a time bomb, and it rolls down to the Atlanta 20-yard line. They almost had that. Watch Skladaney under a lot of pressure. Not a great snap from center. And as you can see, just avoiding him is Tom Pridemore, number 27, almost blocked it. 7 nothing Atlanta. We're here in the desert to prove how much power and endurance is packed into the skill cordless 3 8 inch drill and screwdriver. With just one charge, we drilled 199 holes. 200. And it still has enough muscle to drill through concrete and drive screws into metal with two-speed trigger for better control. For any tough job at home or anywhere, take along the skill cordless drill and screwdriver and do it with skill. You don't have to lose sleep worrying about that drive to work tomorrow. Not when you've got Firestone Snowbiters going with you to dig you out and pull you through. They've got two sets of deep biting teeth. And in between, traction bars for quiet running and long mileage. In radials, bias, or retreads, they'll put teeth in your winter driving. Firestone Town and Country Snowbiters. Pleasant dreams. CBS Sports kicks off next Sunday with the NFL Today pregame show, followed by a regional slate of games. Monday morning, you'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports.